All right, I'm out here getting ready to drill this cover crop. And there's kind of a math lesson in it, and this is a good way for me to remember some of the hoops I'm jumping through in case I have to do this next time. What you're seeing out here is corn. I think you're seeing it, the glare. I think I'm videoing. If not, it'll be erased. And the places that have been disked up is where the corn didn't grow. Even where the corn grew, there's quite a bit of foxtail. It's not so bad out in the field, but there's compaction, heavy rain, blah, blah, blah. There's about 20 odd acres. Just to, most of it's on the other side of that farmstead over there. So the goal today is to get these seeds in the ground and then I can focus on the peas. So the seeds are there. I've got 25 odd acres. So what I've done, I've added up the number of things that I have and divided by the number of acres I have. So what we are gonna drill today, this is sun hemp, which is a, in the pea family. They're like little lentils, they're from India. They'll fix nitrogen. We've got sunflowers. We've got leftover peas, leftover soybeans. And this is a third of it, what you see up on this platform here. The other two thirds is back there. And I need to fill and put all those seeds I just showed you into the main seed box, put some inoculant, which is the, the sun hemp uses this stuff. The peas use this stuff um, in it, mix it all up. I've got it hooked up to the tractor here. And then you calibrate the actual drill and the guesstimate. This is where it gets tricky. I think I want to put down 24 pounds an acre of this mix. So I went through, it's going to show up. I added up what quantities I had on hand and what I bought. I bought the sun hemp. So that's how many pounds an acre I want to put. Well then, unfortunately, the chart in the book for the drill only lists individual species. You know, wheat, barley, oats, and you set the machine up according to the size of the seed, basically, and the density. So you'll have a different mechanical setting on this drill. What happens is when you have a mix, you're supposed to add up, my understanding anyway, so I'm putting a two and a half pounds an acre of peas on per acre, five and a half pounds of beans per acre, 15 pounds of sun hemp per acre, um, and two pounds of sunflower. Uh, we'll get to the clover and the turnip in a second. So that all adds up to 22 pounds an acre. But since it's such a tiny amount, I put the half speed gears in, I wanna put, right, actually 24 pounds an acre, I wanna put 48 on because I've got the half speed gears. So you go down the chart and try to find where is that, you know, which, which is my average seed size. I went with peas, and to put 56 on, it's on setting 12. So i got to go down and adjust after I'm done with this video. go down and adjust and put it on setting 12, but that's how I came up with that. And I'm only doing 10 acres. You can see all the little calculations there on the bottom if it'll show up for different crops. I'm only doing 10 acres because I don't know exactly if I've got the right settings. And so after I, when I run out of seed, I'll figure out how many acres I did and then I'll try to adjust it mechanically on the drill accordingly. What's in this box, the black seeds are the purple top turnip and the white ones are some leftover bursine clover that should winter kill. They both should winter kill. Maybe not the turnip, but the turnip will put down a deep tap root. But I hope will help with some of this compaction and it'll suck up a little bit of the nitrogen that I put down for turkey litter because I was expecting to grow corn on all this. And then next year this is going to be in wheat, all this ground. Um, these are the various inoculants. But uh, that's the process and we'll see how it goes. It's just all the measuring and messing around to try to get the right rate on and then come back here and reload. And then there's another section of the fields on the other side of those woods. I got to hit an end row or two and then leave the truck here and drive the tractor and the drill back home and uh, start working on equipment. So that's a day in the life or a day in a life, mine in particular. I appreciate anybody who's still watching this, but Zave, I had you in mind when I made this because you're a math guy. So math isn't always like they show you in the textbook. And I'm sure you're doing math at a much higher level than this right now. But this is where the rubber hits the road and you got to, okay, come up with an educated guess. So this is my educated guess. And generally, by the time I'm done, I've got it dialed in. 
and then it's time to quit and then I got to do it all over again the next year. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Nice day out here. Talk to you soon. Bye.